Alex Answer here coming to you from the mobile studio here in Taos, New Mexico. I want to talk about Donald Trump. Why are there so many people that are duped by what is obviously a show? I mean, we're talking about you're fired. We're talking about the same individual that's been well known to be close to the Clinton family. However, this doesn't alarm the loyalists. Why do people keep saying that the establishment is against Donald Trump? What's their evidence of this? All I see is Donald Trump everywhere. Donald Trump everywhere on the news feed. Now, there is a lot of, there's a lot of really insane things, insightful things that Donald Trump has obviously said. And ways that he's marginalized entire groups. And there are people that should have more common sense that have been somewhat involved in the um, liberty movement. My intention is not to be insulting. I'm generally concerned. This is not a good sign for consciousness. We can also see individuals of influence in the alternative media, Alex Jones and others, Paul Joseph Watson, that have uh, been toting this party line. Why? And how is this consistent with their content of the past? And I keep hearing these claims about Donald Trump being against the war in Iraq. I don't see a whole lot of evidence to support that he was saying hardly anything through the podiums that he's had this entire time. He's a self-serving narcissist. And for that reason, for that reason alone, just the, the Teflon Don bullshit confidence, people are lapping it up. Now, I do want to bring notice to the attention the Simpsons episode featuring Donald Trump winning the election. And there's actually a Daily Mail article that wrote about this anomaly. Now, I don't take a great deal of time, not that it's not significant, but I don't talk a lot about the predictive programming in some of these TV shows. The Simpsons, however, is fairly known for that famous shot where Bart is holding up the magazine showing 9-11. And there's been a number of other things that have also been embedded in The Simpsons, as well as The Family Guy and shows like that. So this episode from 2000 features Donald Trump winning the election and our nation going further into debt to China, which causes a crisis. And then Lisa plays a character akin to Hillary, who assumes the thrones after Trump has his way with America. Now... Trump may praise Putin today. These are actors on the world stage, and things are ramping up for the stage-managed World War III. Whether it's Trump or another president, as we see this Democrat-Republican switch back and forth throughout the last several decades and beyond, I see the next president inheriting a great war. Uh, but it's a conflict that will be controlled. China never got to where it got by accident. They've had the blueprints from Boeing for many years, Lockheed Martin. They have the monopoly on the uh, rare earth minerals. None of this is by accident. Nor the Russians' relationship to the Clintons over uranium. Money that came in from the Russians to the Clinton Foundation. And so these are things that people really don't think about. You know, when they're watching the RT version of reality and, and Putin right now is looking like a superstar of the world with the stage managed pull out of Syria as he looks like the good guy. Now we see Russia more involved in military affairs and we also see China more involved in peacekeeping operations in Africa. Everything is building and building and building to this point. Trump may seem like a good guy now and that the establishment is against him. There are other perspectives that they will use whatever means necessary to push Trump forward, for he is the ultimate establishment pick. Why do people keep saying that the current puppets in office are, are guaranteed to pull something so they can enact martial law and stay in office? The same thing was said about Bush. There is way too much attention, misguided focus, really on blaming Obama for the entire conspiracy and economic meltdown and this global military industrial complex. And so, yeah, this is definitely one of the greatest deceptions that I've ever seen politically. 
And I'm not alone in stating that this is very reminiscent of what we saw with the rise of Barack Obama, promising change. This is on the other side. And yet there are people that have seen this deception from the Democrats, Republicans for so long that have been talking about it for years, in some cases, decades, and many Ron Paul supporters, only to see them get behind this candy bar, cookie cutter, fake, arrogant, insightful, false, white, great hope. It is the Donald Trump deception. And we're going to see what's going to come about through all this. And all the attention that's been put on these protests, which, to make another point, there certainly seems to be a lot of action at these Trump events that we've actually never seen before. And probably one of the most important points that I want to make is how people are being conditioned to blindly follow this authoritarian tiptoe attitude that Donald Trump is promoting. Get him out of here. Get him. Get him out of here. Oh, look at the cameras. They're going to turn. They're going to give the print just like literally like playing a part, like reading from a script. Get him out of here. And then you, you, you see this mob mentality from the supporters, which cannot be denied. You know, I've seen the most dozens of videos, the most outrageous videos. You know, with one guy, you know, with his hands clenched like this, like he doesn't really know how to form a fist, bobbing back and forth, going, come on, get some. I mean, na 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 And it is one hell of a show to watch, but thank God I'm only doing it from a distance. For now, I'm Alex Answering for March 16th, 2016.